Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is just kind of like an update video. I feel like I owe you guys an explanation as to why I was gone last week. I think I missed like four or five days, which is a long time for me. And then, sorry for the lighting and the everything. I just put my camera up real quick in the glare, but like, that's a good thing because then you can't see my eyes and I don't know if I'll be able to make it through this without crying. My heart is like just pounding thinking about Right now, I'm gonna have to explain to you guys what happened last week, and I'm still not okay. Okay, so last week was a really crazy, awful week for me. If you don't follow me on social media, you might not know, but I know everyone on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook should all know by now that I lost my kitten Ollie last week. So, let's see, what, what did the week start off? Monday, I got my nails done, and then Tuesday, I took Ollie to the vet for his rabies shot, because he's old enough, and then like an exam. And he went in, and he weighed 0.4 pounds less than he did 10 days before that that because I took him to the Humane Society to get his last deworming and his vaccinations that they can do there because um, a vet has to do the rabies but now they have their own vet so I don't know anyways so he was weighing less and that is not a good thing and I was always like he you know he looks really small he's not as big as the other fosters because the other fosters I took back to the Humane Society and they got all adopted out but the foster care coordinator assured me when I had taken him in for his last deworming and vaccinations that it's normal to sometimes have kittens that are skinnier with like a big belly and that they'll just grow into their belly but I just I just didn't feel right about it so when I was at the vet when he had lost weight that was like I was like oh hell no that's a big red flag so I was like pressing with the vet so the vet said that it's either worms or feline virus which is feline leukemia feline cancer and um, they wanted to know what dewormer he was treated with at the Humane Society, so I got that information, and it turns out that's only for like one specific worm, so the doctor was like, okay, I will give him a dewormer that's for all the worms, and then he should poop out the worms and start gaining weight within a week. I was like, okay, and then, you know, not even thinking like it could be, I just totally thought it was worms, because my dog Nevaeh had worms when she was a puppy, and I didn't know it, because it's my first dog and everything, and I, we didn't know she had worms until she started throwing them up. So I've dealt with that issue before, and it's really super common, so I was like, okay, that's gotta be it, he's gotta have a tapeworm or something. And so, either worms or the virus, and they said that they'll do the worm treatment, and if he gets better within a week, or they can test for feline virus, which is like, I guess expensive he said it was gonna be a couple hundred dollars just to test and then like even more expensive to treat so I'm like really hoping that it's worms but the very next day uh, he was just all he was just so worse he was sneezing and like boogers were coming out of his nose and he had never sneezed like that like he did in the beginning because when I actually took them in they all had upper respiratory disease and I had to give them drops in their eyes twice a day but they all seem to have recovered for them so anyways he hasn't sneezed since then so he's all sneezing really super lethargic like not even fall like usually he follows me around and lays on me or besides me wherever I am in the house but he wasn't doing that and I was just really concerned and at this point he was my cat like I knew I was gonna keep him and just he was just so much more worse and sickly I thought overnight that I wanted to get a hold of me in society and I was like okay do you guys do testing for feline virus at the immune Society. she's like yeah we do it takes 10 minutes bring them down and so I was like okay I'll bring them down so I drove down there which mind you the Humane Society is a 50 minute drive one way for me because I live out in the middle of nowhere in the woods so I get there and I drop them off and I go run an errand like literally right across the road pick something up with my mom and come my mom was there thank goodness somebody was there so and then we come back and the foster care coordinator is on the phone so I'm just like waiting quietly outside of her cubicle like she can see me but I'm not like hovering or anything and so she gets off the phone and I I knew it in the look when she like was on the phone and she like looks and glances up at me I could tell from the look on her face that it was not good news and I was like are you kidding me like just by the look on her face and then she gets off the phone and she's getting up and she like her face just says it all and I'm like oh my god no and so she tells me and of course I start crying <laughs> like ugly crying in the freaking humane society and so like everyone walking by can see me and everything because she's just in a cubicle not like an actual office with a door and she was telling me that it's really really bad and that at this point they wouldn't 
they wouldn't use their funds to try and treat him because it would just be a waste of money. They, they gave me the option to fully adopt him and then tr pay for it myself at a, a separate vet but they said that I would honestly be wasting my money and he would be suffering, like he is suffering. I guess his like stool was really hard in his belly, which means he's super dehydrated because his body's sucking up all the moisture out of his stool, which is weird because like two days before that, he had really bad diarrhea. So I'm like, I was surprised to hear that his stool was like hard. Anyway, sorry, I know that's gross, but so, Basically, yeah, they said you really shouldn't waste your money. He's just suffering and it's like he's got it so bad He's so little So I made the choice to let him go and I feel bad about that still And you know even though I hadn't officially signed the adoption papers I can't do this. We had already had him for a lot longer because he was so sick like he's had multiple problems while I've been fostering him. We knew he was our cat like we knew we were going to keep him from the first night I brought the fosters home. He um, was the only kitten that walked right out of the kennel and the other kittens were you know a little bit human skittish super dog skittish but the first night he walked out of the kennel um, and straight up to my dog who was sitting in the hallway. She's really good with kittens. She loves kittens and she loves when we get fosters. And he walked right up to her and started rubbing on her. And then he sat in my lap and in my husband Douglas's lap literally all evening and for the rest of the time. Like he just, he loved us so much and he loved my other cats. And that's another thing. Feline cancer is contagious and so I'm like, <laughs> Hoping my other cats are okay. They seem perfectly fine uh, But D'Artagnan is my sweetest cat and he would you know groom the kittens and like really hoping that he'll be alright I'm not worried really much about my other cats because they aren't really as friendly as Dar and wouldn't like cuddle with the kittens Like they'd tolerate them in the same room, but like they didn't want the kittens trying to be crawling on them But anyway, so yeah, <laughs> I lost Ollie and um, it was really hard for me because I I still have my first, my very first pet that I got, um, that was my responsibility. I got Alex when I was 15, and even though I was living at home, I got him. I, you know, I didn't have to buy, I guess he, I guess technically he wasn't my very first, my responsibility, because, like, I wasn't even buying his cat food, but I did have to feed him and clean his litter box, and, you know, he was my baby boy, and I've had him ever since I was 15, so my first real pet on my own that I have to pay everything for is Kana, which I still have Kana. I have Alex, who I got when I was 15. Kana was the first cat that Doug and I got to, to, as a pet together. And then Nevea, then Thor, and D'Artagnan, and Taz. And we also adopted Martini in the way, but she was already about four years old when we adopted her. Anyways, all the animals that I've adopted as an adult are still alive. I've never lost an animal, and I'm a huge animal lover. Like, <laughs> that's why I foster. But anyways, it was and still is really hard on like it really hard, like it really affected me more than I thought it would and I didn't even because I've lost fosters before last year I lost a foster which is why I always took Ollie to the vet without even like like I tell the Humane Society I was gonna take him to the vet but I just pay for his vet visits because I think he went like six or seven times at least for issues he, poor little guy and I pay for it out of my own pocket because I just I didn't trust to wait like the Humane Society last year, one of my kittens, one of my fosters was sick. They said, okay, well, let's wait till tomorrow. 24 hours won't make a difference. And the kitten died overnight and I knew something was wrong with the kitten. So this time with this litter and with Ollie, I was trusting my own instincts and saying, you know what? I can afford this vet bill, so I'm gonna go take him now and like not take him all the way down 50 minutes that way, let them evaluate or you know, let them say, oh, he's fine or tomorrow he'll be fine. Like, I just didn't want to hear, I didn't want that to happen again. <laughs> And then he gets freaking his cat cancer. Like, what the hell? Why Why me? So, yes. It's basically my first pet loss ever. And I was not ready for it. And it's really, it's still, it's like sad. Like, he, I, I must be crazy. I must be crazy cat lady. Because, like, a couple times, not in the last couple days. I think it, I'm over it now. But I swear to God, I'd be, like, walking down the hall. And I'd hear his little freaking cry. And... Then obviously it's not him, but I like get like a jolt, like a feeling, you know, and I'll like look like the like for a split second. And then I'm realize like, oh yeah, he's not here to you. But 
that's not happening anymore but like I just I miss him and I love him and I just feel terrible about it so that's why I, I like I literally I was so sad and you guys can make fun of me for like being so upset over a cat like it's just a cat like it, at least it wasn't a family member but like he is kind of like my baby so it's like a family member but like I couldn't force myself to be on camera and to be happy like I was really so sad and just the thought of having to be like hey guy you know like my normal like me but I was just not that me right then I was very sad and I still am and this video I didn't even want I didn't want to do I was supposed to, I was gonna do it yesterday I put it off yesterday because I was like oh my god I, I still can't do it I can't get on camera and you know without crying and I'm like well whatever I guess I'll just cry on camera because it's you know I went so long and I did upload a video of me and Maddie which was that was so awesome Maddie if you're watching you are so awesome she's so awesome and she made my weekend fun and I was able to just be distracted and laugh and just have so much fun instead of just mope in my house because I'm normally by myself and I'm like not good at grieving I'm really bad at it and having Maddie over this weekend really was like awesome like just getting to just have fun and just I just was distracted and then of course here comes Monday and Doug's at work and Maddie's gone and I'm just like oh my god I don't want to film I can't but I'm making myself because I don't want to leave you guys hanging and I I do think it's time for me to like buck up like I took some days off to be sad I'm still a little sad but it's time to you know get life goes on so I'm trying so I just wanted to get this video and this is already going way too long I have multiple updates too it's not just this update about my cat and if you're still watching after that whole long explanation about Ollie thank you so much so let's see what's another update I have like a little list on my phone of things oh okay so update I am going to announce the winner for the 1000th video giveaway winner at some point in this video but also I haven't heard from three awesome giveaway winners yet so if you haven't watched all my videos lately you might want to go back and at least watch the ones like the last couple where I announced winners because I'm still waiting on three one is about uh, actually their time is up you get two weeks to claim your prize and their time's up but like I still wouldn't be against if they were like you know I still kind of check. Even though I say I'm not going to check after two weeks, I kind of do because I'm like, I want to give them their prize. But anyway, because I see what is the case is I see this person commenting on newer videos. And so they're commenting on my new videos, but they miss, did they miss that one? They didn't watch that one to see that they won. So I'm like, oh, you won. And that's not even the only terrible thing that happened to me last week. I also lost a former classmate. Um, I graduated in 2010 with about 100 students, and we'd all, basically all of us had grown up since, you know, kindergarten. I knew people since kindergarten, preschool even, daycare, before any of us even went to any sort of, you know, like I've known some of these people my whole life. And this person was one of them, but I lost a former classmate made in a hiking accident even though honestly we haven't talked since high school and we weren't even friends we weren't in the same group in high school we grew up together as kids and we spent a lot of time on the swim team together and his parents were very involved in the swim team and like mentors and I even had developed an inside joke with his dad about you're gonna miss your race because it was swim team and even to this day if I saw his dad in the store or at the post office you know he'd say Tia you're gonna miss your race and it's like you know that was I don't even know how many years ago and so that's pretty upsetting because we were such a close like group of kids growing up in this small little town I think when I graduated my class was the biggest class and that there was only like 400 people in the school total including staff and the fact that he died you know in a hiking accident doing what he loved with his father and his older brother that's just so heartbreaking um, one thing that was kind of cool though that came about it which I know is terrible but like in less than one hour, our old student body president for our grade made a Facebook page for our graduating class and every single class member that has a Facebook got was became part of that group in less than an hour we were able to get everyone together and now they're doing like a you know a memorial for him a wake and everyone knows about it and so and that was even like 82 kids so like you know 12 to 15 maybe 20 kids didn't don't have a Facebook so they wouldn't be in the group but like it was just kind of cool how like that quickly my entire class was able to come together you know for this terrible tragedy but that's actually the third person from my class to pass away in the last 10 years so that week was full of a lot of mourning a lot of sense of loss and also I had gotten like I'd mentioned I'd gotten my nails done on Monday well my fingers react badly at least this hand if you don't follow me on social media you won't know 
but everyone on social media knows. So for like over a year now, my hand, this hand has been reacting sort of bad to uh, shellac nail polish. And I know you think that would make somebody stop, but like it was only a little reaction and it would only happen a little bit like in the first couple days after I got my nails done and then it would heal and my nails would be fine for the next until I got my nails done again. And it was only this hand. This hand is perfectly fine. I just don't have nail polish on either because why would I keep one hand bare, one hand not? And I hate my nails. They're super short and they're super ugly right now. I'll do a close up if I can to show you guys. But this time the reaction was so bad that it was hurting so bad and freaking bleeding. So I was like, okay, Tia. I ripped off all the nail polish and I've been letting them heal and they're finally healing. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I also I broke some and they're kind of just really gross looking right now. I don't think it's going to focus, but they are healing. I did show it on Snapchat, so Snapchat can see how they look. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's another thing that happened to me that was really shitty. Like, I stopped doing my hair in January uh, because it was falling out and breaking because I bleach it all the time. And so I stopped doing that in January and I was like, started getting my nails done more because I was like, this is like how I'm going to pamper myself. Like, I like that. Like, I want to have nice things. I want to look nice. And now I can't even do my nails. So now it's like, I can't do my nails, can't do my hair. Like, I can do my toes, but like, I don't care. I don't even like my feet. I don't want to talk about a couple not so happy things. And then we're going to get off this like negative train bullshit and we're going to talk about some cool things. Things. I'm gonna announce the giveaway winner for the 1000 and the Valerian take because that one has been up a week and I like to leave the giveaways up for at least a week and then I pick a winner but I had to deal with a troll but like these trolls be crazy nowadays oh my god like I thought it was bad when I first started it is so bad so I guess this has happened to other vape youtubers too and that this troll has been kicked out of multiple Facebook groups but I had to deal with a troll this last week that so I posted last Friday, no, not not last Friday, the one we just had, but the Friday before that. So, oh my God, this has been going on for a while. Like I, last week was terrible, I'm telling you guys. I'm exhausted still from it. So I posted on my Instagram a cute picture of a coffee cup with a spoonful of glitter shaking into the coffee cup. Like super cute, you know, I'm fucking girly. Like I like glitter, I like pink. Swearing's not girly, but like I'm angry about it because I just thought it was cute. It's not even my picture I didn't even take it and then I asked like hey what how do you vapors take your coffee or whatever? And so like lots of people were like telling me how they like their coffee and then some people were asking me if it was edible glitter Which I don't know I didn't take the picture if it was edible glitter. I Want that this is probably not edible glitter. I don't know anyways a couple of people thought that I actually put glitter in my coffee and drink it that way one I do not drink coffee at all. I'm pretty sure I've said that multiple times on my channel. I don't drink coffee. I'm not a cop. Like I'll drink it as a sweet, yummy treat. Like if my girls and me are going to Starbucks and they need their mochas, I'll have a coffee. Maybe. Usually it's a chai tea. Anyways, I don't drink coffee. I don't need it to wake up. I'm not a morning person. Maybe coffee would make me a morning person. I'm super not a morning person. I'm a night person. Anyways, so a couple of people were rude about it thought, you know, calling me like stupid bitch, you put like stupid, call me a stupid bitch over a post. First of all, if you have that kind of like animosity towards me, why are you, what are you doing? Why are you on my channel? Why are you on my Facebook? Like anyways, so this one guy went like nuts. Like you're st like just calling me all sorts of names, being so gross. And so I snapped back at him and then I deleted it because I was like, fuck, falling into the troll trap. To you don't reply to trolls because every time you do, you reply to the craziest sons of bitches and the last one you had to get the cops involved. So I deleted the comment, but the guy must have saw it before because he's all like, oh, I see you deleted your comment, but I screenshotted it. So I'm going to go tell all these vape companies how you talk to your viewers. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, first of all, and then, well, then I commented and said I deleted it because I didn't want to fall into your troll trap. You really think that I'm going to drink glitter and then you're going to call me a bunch of ugly names about it just because you think I drink glitter? Like, what is wrong in your life that you have to just take it out on me like that? Anyways, that part doesn't bother me. What happened next? So, don't think he had a screenshot anyway, but he goes off, and I didn't even know about this until days later when you guys showed me. He goes off, he's firing off at Inakin, he's firing off at Artery, Bonsai, the Dollar Aegis Club, like all the companies that I've featured on my channel recently, and saying like, Tia's being, Tia's misrepresenting your brand, or Tia's being disgusting on social media while representing your brand. First of all, nobody's brand was represented at all in the post because it was a post about coffee. So, 
that's not no like that wrong second of all no I was defending myself I was falling into your troll trap and commenting and so anyways I didn't even know about this until like a few days later like I said when you guys told me and then I went to those posts and I was like look I actually do have screenshots because I did I took screenshots and I was like this is not what happened I was defending myself if you think this troll's a problem like if you think this is gonna like you know let me know because one of them was like can you tell me what's going on here to like his post like they were like listening to him and I was like are you fucking kidding me who does that who goes after someone's livelihood like that it's just trash it turns out that he's been doing this to a lot of the other vape youtubers and got kicked out of like a couple Facebook groups and stuff for vaping so obviously this guy is just I don't know what he's trying to gain but he is not a very nice person oh my god I was like had to deal with that for oh days and then to top it off somebody else showed me a screenshot like i thank you guys for having my back like i swear to god i wouldn't know half this shit if you guys didn't tell me showed me a screenshot of a vape youtuber who was like posting false claims about me now i've spoke with this guy since then and everything's okay and cool but the post had lies in it about me and another vape youtuber and i was like oh no and then there was there was just tons of comments on it and just like vulgar vile like just it was not cool it was vile because I usually I don't but I read through some of the comments it was just awful and there was like almost like 400 comments and I was like holy crap so I had to get a hold of this guy and I was like you are spreading lies well it was like a misunderstanding I guess you know like a post too soon type of event which is all cool and water under the bridge the post was about a e-liquid that myself and another youtuber had put on our channels and how they didn't think that was right and da 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 which I get it it's not like now that I know about the labeling and everything I don't agree with it and I told the company that but this person like have false facts about it like it just that was that's not cool but we're it's all over and done water under the bridge bye not gonna talk about it anymore so yeah that was the shittiest last like two weeks week and a half for me and that's why I was gone from YouTube like it was not fun times but like let's go into some happy times let me show you guys the winner for the 1000 video giveaway and the Valerian In this one, you had to tell me how many years you've been watching me. Oh my gosh, this person just got so lucky. They've been only watching for five days. There's the winner. Now the winner for the Valerian. And this one, you just had to subscribe to my friend. They're the winners. Mm. So congratulations to the winners. Don't forget to check your comment. I will be replying to it so you can claim your prize. Again, all my winners must be 21 years or older, be able to provide photo ID and a small shipping fee, $5 in the US, $10 anywhere else, except for this 1,000th video giveaway winner. If you win it and you are from another country, you will have to pay the full shipping, which is gonna be pretty expensive because it's a big giveaway. So I'll, I'll leave that up to the winner if they happen to be out of the country. Also, you won't get any of the bottles. Another fun thing that I have in the works is I'm really sure I'm going to start a Patreon, like why not, do prizes and things like that. A couple, like a couple of the things I'm thinking about for prizes on my Patreon would be like signed stuff, bi-monthly giveaways, like exclusive to Patreon, Patreon exclusive content, shout outs and videos, like one-on-one -on -one Snapchat calls, things like that for my Patreon. So if those are things you're interested in, leave comments down below so I know when people are, if you really want it, then I'll really do it. But if only, you know, if not a lot of people are doing it, then maybe I wouldn't do it. If you guys would be down for that kind of thing, then make sure I know down in the comments below. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the CBD. I've had a lot of people asking me about that. And I really did like it for pain. I My back had been hurting at the time. My back's not hurting now. And I don't really suffer from any other sort of pain. I had just I had injured my back so I was hurting now I'm not now I don't need to use it for pain I don't really see any benefit yet with the sleep or anxiety because it was only the hundred milligram ones um, so I went ahead and I have the 300 milligram ones now and I'm gonna try those and maybe those will help because I've heard it from almost everyone that uses CBD 
um, you guys that you have to use a higher, like a way higher milligram than 100 milligrams. So I do have the 300 milligrams from Alpine Hemp. I have Mint Chocolate Swirl, Nutty Banana, and Caramel Junction. These were my three favorite flavors from them. I think there's two or three other flavors that they have, but now I have the 300, so I'm going to try these out. And also, this is kind of more of an update for people who follow me on social media because you wouldn't know really much about it if you didn't, unless you watch every single one of my videos and pay attention to everything I say. Can make some long videos. My husband and I are making plans to build our house. We were already pre-qualified for a loan. He is a veteran, so he works going to use a VA. And so we've been in the process for months now with designing it with the draftsman. And we got all the way to the very end. And I was like, you know, so excited. I'm ready to build a house and get out of this little tin can. And then we decided, we measured, we re-measured, and we decided that we wanted to change it. And we basically had to scrap all of the plans and start over which means we have to repay again but it would just it's going to be beneficial in the long run because it'll be easier to heat the house cheaper to build it this way that we're doing it so we basically restarted all the way so now we're back to square uno and i'm like oh, i really wanted to build this year it's obviously going to have to be next year but we will have all of our ducks in a row by spring to build when the snow thaw when the snow melts and the ground thaws where I live because we get a heck of a lot of snow. But I'm really excited for that. But I know some people on social media have seen like the old house plans and stuff and uh, all that's been scratched because <laughs> We got a better we got a better layout and I'm so excited. So I'll keep you guys updated on that from time to time Obviously, you'll see when I'm not living here I'll be living at my mom's while they build a house because my mom lives really close by and she has a four-bedroom house So we'll be living with my mom. Sorry my camera died But anyways a lot of you guys wanted to try the jar of pain So I went ahead and ordered 15 mil bottles from Amazon and they should be here soon I already have a couple people's addresses and everything and it's only one dollar on PayPal And I have to charge that because of the FDA so one dollar and you can have a 15 mil unicorn bottle of the jar of pain if you haven't seen the video watch yesterday's video where maddie from bonsai vapor and i vape 100 flavors of e-liquid that's what the jar of pain is and it was really really gross so i don't know why you guys want to vape it but if you do want to vape it let me know because i think it'd be pretty cool if i could get everyone to like record themselves trying the jar of pain and then i'll make a video mashup of it and show you guys because i think no i don't think anyone's gonna like it like it's literally like vaping garbage it's too many flavors all at once and I don't really know what the ratio would be because it's zeros three and sixes all mixed together and another awesome thing and I haven't really got to try this out but I did get my new camera and a little mic that I attached to it this is the Sony AX100 and I absolutely love it I filmed the video with Maddie and I on this but I didn't adjust the settings or anything so it's like if I need to adjust it and make it good. I just literally turned it on and used it because I wanted to use it But I love it. I love my new camera. I'm obviously I'm not using it now I'm still using my old one which was a Canon G7X Which I love and I'm gonna keep to have like a double angle in my videos like I did with the video that Maddie and I did And this has a start and stop remote. It's so amazing Because I don't have to like reach to click it off or like get up and click it off I can just use the remote and I can zoom with the remote so I love it and I was really really happy about that so that's another good thing like I'm trying to end this video on a positive note because I really wasn't feeling ready to be on camera again but I'm going to put my big girl panties on and do it and so I'm really shooting to have a new video up tomorrow a new uh, vape video for you guys since it's been like a week maybe more besides yesterday's video but it wasn't like a normal product video like I normally do but anyways thank you so much for listening to me talk so that is it for the update video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and comment check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids mods etc and if you want to know what I was vaping in this video I have my Anakin cool fire ultra 150 my dot mod petri version 2 RDA and then the e-liquid I've been dripping is the pink paradise by bonsai vapor this is their season collection and this is the summer one it's like such a good pink lemonade my favorite and I thank gosh that I have another bottle because this one's almost gone I was gonna say oh my god I'm almost out if you want to see more of me and more of my life you can follow me on social media like Facebook Instagram Twitter snapchat all those social media links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please join kasa.org and learn how you can fight for your right to vape so as always I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching